So two terrific semi-finals uh, at the start of semi-finals day for us here. Next up is women's doubles and two pairs have already won a Super Series title earlier this year. Tanaka and Yoni Moto, who won in India against the All England champions, Chang Na and Lee So He. Then we'll have men's doubles and home involvement there for Alfian and Adianto against the world number ones, Bo and Mogensen. Then we finish with the second of the women's singles. And Zhang Bei Wen, who has been in one Super Series tournament final up against Sung Ji Hyung, who's in a six consecutive semi-final. Well, as far as well, women's doubles is concerned the on the Super Series standings, well, there's been a lot of changes Please after Singapore. All 10 places are changed after the Singapore Open. And when you consider that seven of the top eight pairs there have all been in a Super Series tournament final this year, that's quite a incredible the only pair in that top eight not to be in a super series tournament final this year is the number three pair jung kyung Ung and shin sung chang who were olympic bronze medalists but four japanese pairs on that top ten two korean and two chinese as far as this tournament is concerned in the women's doubles Empire of well this match. there we can see that four different Romania. nations involved in semi-final stage. Only four seeds, but quarter-final stage. But the winners of all four Super Series tournaments so far this year all made it through to the quarter-final stage. So that's very strong discipline here at the Indonesian Open. Japan, world rank number eight, please welcome Shiho Tanaka. The winners of the India Super Series event earlier this year. The number eight seeds here in Jakarta. Shiho Tanaka and Koharu Yonimoto. So the left and right handed combination. And number three seeds, Jiang Yena and Lee So He of Korea. Well, we watched this Korean pair on Thursday when we were saying that Lee So He had enjoyed her birthday the day before when she turned 23 and each day I wonder whether she's going to have time to celebrate the birthday after she's finished this campaign. I hope she, for her sake, she doesn't finish celebrating until after Sunday's final. Okay. Okay. So our court officials for okay. this one. That's from Indonesia. The is Chang decided that side. That side. Who is it? So the Japanese pair have decided which end they will start. And it looked to me as if Yoni Moto was saying they wanted to start the far side of the courts. Yep, indeed I was correct. So they just move their racket bags before the start of the warm-up period. So there's Shiho Tanaka, 24 years of age. Number eight in the world ranking at the moment, she and her partner, which is a career high. In fact, it's their 10th week, 10th consecutive week at a career high of eight. Now, as we saw from the Super Series standings, they're number six at the moment. They actually went down three places after losing in the second round in Singapore. Now, as far as her partner is concerned, a couple of years older, at the age of 26, Koharu Yonimoto, born in Hiroshima. And this is their first appearance here at the Indonesia Super Series event. And what a good tournament they've had so far. They actually went the full distance in the first round against Lin Yin Lu and Yap Chen Wen. 
Uh, but then in the second round, in a repeat of the final from the India Super Series event, beat Fukuman and you're now their teammates and they're more teammates yesterday. The winners of the Malaysian Super Series, Fukushima and Hirota. And that was three games as well. So to the left and right-handed combination, and the left-handed Jiang Yena, 27 years of age, born in Seoul, and they, like their opponents, are enjoying a tenth week at a career high. And their career high is three, as you can see. They played last year as a pair. Ready to play. Lost in the quarterfinal stage to Tang Huan Ting and Yu Yang, who went on to reach the final. And as far as the Koreans are concerned, first two rounds in straight games, and then yesterday's quarterfinal against Della Destiara Harris and the Orozite Ika Putrisari needed three games and an hour and 11 minutes coming from a game down to beat the Indonesians yesterday. Well, this will be the fifth meeting between these two women's doubles pairs, and the previous four occasions that they've met have all been won by the Koreans, including the last time, which was in the second round of the Asian Championships in Wuhan earlier this year. 52 minutes for those two games, 21-16, 21-18. Has been to three games twice over their last four meetings, as we look at our court officials. Well, the two-minute warm-up period seemed to go by very quickly. I think they've had almost as long just getting ready for the start of play since they were called for the match to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, on our right, Tanaka Sihu and Yonemoto Koharu, Japan. And on my left, Jangena and Isoi, Korea. Well, I think we've got a bit of an issue with our lights again, haven't we? Wasn't there some flickering going on there? Yeah, there was. Ball. Play. So the number three seeds, Zhang Yenar and Lee So Hee, getting this semi final underway. <laughs> Just long. Well, the start of the Super Series year as far as women's One. doubles is oh. concerned like men's singles we've had four different winners from the four previous super series tournaments so far in 2017 in the women's hey. doubles and as i was saying both these players have won one of those Two. four previous Love. titles see quite a few long rallies in this scene. Yeah, yeah I think so too. Um. Three. Good 
match they had yesterday. Um, Yonemoto and um, Tanaka against Fukushima and Hirota. Very, very good match in three games. And of course, the match we saw with um, Lee and Chang against um, the Indonesians. Also, a, a very good match where one. they were struggling a little bit, Lee and, and Chang. And uh, I hold them actually as, as um, the inform pair in, in women's doubles at the moment, even though. The tournament victories have been spread out evenly. We saw them play really well in the Sudirman Cup also. Yeah, and it's their fourth Super Series semi-final of the year in only the fifth event. That seems to emphasize your point, the most consistent pair. Yeah, <coughs> I was just checking the world ranking because I wanted to see how, how much it had affected their world ranking that Five. they've been playing so well. And One. They, they can't really make any impact here. They're, st they're set at, at number three, whereas uh, Camilla Rodriguez and Christina Pedersen, they would have gone up to number one had they won their match yesterday in the quarterfinals. And now it remains Matsutomo and Takahashi, even though they lost in the first round here. It's over. Yes, as defending Two, champions, they won five. the title here last year. Yes. But that um, tournament had already been deleted from the world ranking because the yes. Indonesia Open was held at, a, at an earlier date last year. It's gone wide. Now, Steen, I was saying that the four Super Series women's doubles titles so far this year going to four Six, different pairs. Uh, but the other interesting point about that, for the first time ever, in the history of the Super no Chinese. Series. No women's doubles titles so far in the first four Super Series of the year to a Chinese pair. They still have a chance here with of course um, they do. Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifang. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they're, they're at a low um, in terms of titles, um, China's women's doubles team. No doubt about that. Three. Whereas Six. both Korea and Japan are, are coming up, yeah, and 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 are looking very strong. I mean, Japan have four pairs that are all very very good. I don't think Kuman and Yunao have won tournaments, have they? No, but they were bronze medalists at the last World Championship. Yeah, so so one bronze medalist and, and four tournament, uh, three other Seven tournament over. winners. That that's a good. Um, Seven. That's a healthy s training environment, and, yeah. and the Koreans as well. Um, runners up at the Asian Championships, um, Jung Kyung Un, uh, um, Shin, and this pair here. The um, the depth in the women's doubles department is perhaps the 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 thing that you would want to better a little bit. Um, over. It would be really nice Four. to see um, Seven. more nations compete mm. in, in the women's doubles uh, discipline, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yes, on that Super Series standing that we saw a moment ago. Five. Seven. Japanese pairs, two Korean pairs, two Chinese in the top ten. It's not an awful lot of nations involved in the top ten. Oh, it's it's very um, sparse. Yeah, she's mistiming it as well. Yeah. I wonder if it's it's more swirling the drift today Six. than it has been on Seven. previous days. So far, quite a bit shorter rallies than I would have expected from the beginning. Not the best of serves, no. and very well dealt with by Tanaka. Seven over, seven, eight. We 
have uh, two former partners on the coaching oh. chairs in this uh, match here. Park yeah. Jopong from, uh, yeah, originally from Korea, of course, but, but coaching Japanese pair in Rock Kyung Min. Oh, silver medalist in the first ever mixed doubles at the Olympic Games yeah. in Atlanta. Seven silver, nine, eight. But I guess sometimes Ra gets to look at her husband's gold medal. <laughs> 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 yes, I wonder if that's discussed over the breakfast yeah. table. Yeah. Oh, well, our service is called good. Yeah, and a dedicated um, uh, linesman on the uh, service Eight. line there. Yes, which we didn't have earlier on in the tournament, did exactly. we? Exactly. There was some uh, 11, eight, in the ball. Indonesian spectators who were emulating the uh, shot from one of the Japanese girls there. Now it's the Koreans, the number three seeds, who have a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval. Kai Nakajima being told by the umpire to leave. Clever, crouching down, punching the shuttle over her opponent's head. Lucky net court. Service over nine, twelve. Well, when they won the title in Delhi, this pair from Japan, that was only their sixth ever Super Series tournament. Remarkable burst onto the world scene, immediate success. Super Series level. I say that. I like the way that they went to Grand Prix Gold tournaments Seven, last year as well, Steam, winning the US nine. Grand Prix Gold and the China Masters. That was just a, a, a Chinese Taipei Masters. That was a Grand Prix, not a Grand Prix Gold. But they've, they've learned their trade, as it were, before stepping up to the Super Series. And it seems like they have um, several different uh, tiers of players so that some are playing uh, Super Series and Premiers, and, and some are playing um, Grand Prix Golds and, and Grand Prix Tournaments, and some are, are also in Europe playing the European uh, Challenges and, and perhaps also Asian Challenges. I, I don't follow them that closely. Uh, <coughs> and we know that um, uh, Kenta Momota is going to return to international play in, in Canada Open. 
was it you, is it? No, um, Canada first, I yeah. think, yeah. Which is a Grand Prix. But a, a, a good way for the young players to, to prove themselves and to get confidence by, by winning matches. Yeah. much fun playing super series if you always end up losing in the qualifying or on the first round on the other hand the super series is very limited uh, entry only 28 best mm. pairs get entry so so um, you've got to play them to make sure you keep your eligibility so to speak yeah and I'm, I'm very excited to see the Seven new system that um, comes up with a new tournament structure 15 where um, I if there's any news as to whether you can get eligibility or, or something like that, uh, whether you get exemption to, to play the tournaments. I'm not, I haven't heard of it, so I wouldn't suspect yeah. it, but, but it could be interesting if, if there was. Seven's over, 16, 10. Run there's the match so far. There's the long rally, yeah. Oh, it's just long. Had 88 shots in the men's doubles the other day, didn't we, with Boa Morgensen. I wonder if that's as long as that. 17, 10. No. Now we can see the Japanese pair, they have trouble scoring from uh, the far side of the court here, playing a little bit up against the drift, so they're probably going to have to to wait until the second game to uh, convert their attacks to points on a regular basis. Well taken by Jan Ye Na. This is where you normally as a coach shout to your player, she's left handed. <laughs> I simply don't understand mm. <laughs> the return from um Seven's over. No. from uh, eleven eighteen. Good smash from Tanaka. No, she doesn't mind 18. the hard work from the back of the court, Tanaka. Former bronze medalist at the 
2015 World University Games. In the women's singles, that is. work by the Koreans. Especially, uh, yeah. Very, very good work by Lee Sohee, who maintains uh, a steady pressure on the Japanese. Seven, and four, then, as we often 19, see, when, when Chang Yina then comes back, her attack is having a little bit more bite, a little bit more steepness, and, and she's not afraid to variate a little bit. And, and that does the damage to the Japanese pair. Key the way I see it. I mean, Seven silver, the strategy for 13, from the from the Japanese pair 19. must be to to wear out uh, Lee So He because they're definitely not afraid to uh, give away the initiative. about a drop once in a while or a clear oh that's well taken yeah that, that's the way the Japanese wants the rallies to go no doubt about it So game point opportunities for Zhang Yena and Lee So He. They only needed the one. 21 14 in 21 minutes. First game won by Zhang Yena and Lee So He. 21 14. Pretty smooth sailing for the Korean pair.
Well, they're still deep in discussion. Two Japanese players. <laughs> I know you said during the opening game, Steen, that it was it appeared that their tactics was to try and wear out Lee So Hee from the back of the court and they were quite happy to lift to her. But I just feel that they've got to take more initiative themselves. Yeah, I think so too. And I, I think it was deliberate that they chose to start on the far side of the court because they need help from the drift to um, to be able to score consistently on the, on the Koreans in the attack. And good actions from Yonemoto here. Left. But I mean, the problem for the Japanese is that <laughs> the defense of the Koreans, they, it isn't too shabby either. No. <laughs> and they don't have to think too much about Seven over. Um, One, two. controlling the lift here. They can just um, push them. service situation um, by, by the Japanese over. girls here to begin Three, the second game with. One. Put pressure on the Koreans. Now, it was interesting there, Steen. I remember you talking yesterday about Lee So He has got to use the sides attack. And when she's hitting straight, she's got to follow forward. And I thought at the end of that last rally, she was attempting to do that. Yeah, yes, yeah, she's very strong coming forward in, in her forehand side. Matsutoma and, and uh, Takahashi, they haven't won a tournament this year. No. Either. Not a Super Series, at least. No. And no, no Olympic champion has won a tournament this year in either of the disciplines. No, that's correct. Still a chance, though, for it to happen here for mixed, mixed doubles. doubles. Over. Four, five. I assume you're talking about Super Series level. Yeah. 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 
because Carolina Marin, of course, retained her European title. Yeah. And didn't Chen Long win the Asian Championships? He won the Asian Championships as well. Yeah. And, and I, I thought he was in good shape in this tournament here, but um, was Let beaten by a fantastic playing uh, HS Pronoy. Played well at the Sudirman Cup as well, um, Chen Long. So did uh, Lee So He and uh, Chang Hina. Mm. That's her second service error of the match. Seven yeah, over. and, and uh, Chang Hina has had a couple of. Um, sort of wobbly serves as well that have mm. been a little bit too high over the net, especially in the beginning of the of this uh, game yeah. here where Yonemoto was taking advantage of it at the net. <laughs> I was about to say that's going to go wide, but then, <laughs> no, there's drift in this hole here. That's going to go wide. In terms of, of sideways drift, um, the, the court is is uh, sipped together in, in four pieces, and and one of the sippers are just before the J in Jakarta. You'll see it um, in the overhead picture. Uh, now, that's pretty much where you got to aim. If you aim at the uh, sipper just before the J in Jakarta, then it's gonna Seven, possibly six. hold up and and hit the line in in the si in the right side of the court. Crikey, you think you think it's that much? Yes, I think so. When, wow. when you lift, I think it's that much. That's short. Yeah, big, big gap. But the Japanese pair are looking to me as if they're wanting to be more proactive now. Definitely. And uh, especially on the front court, they're much more active and, and getting much more to work with. Um, I, I can't figure out whether they're, they're playing um, quite well or it's mainly due to the service problems of the Korean pair that, that they're on 8 all. But... but um, they have a b bigger belief that they can sort of convert their attack to points. Y if you think about this rally played uh, the opposite way around, switching ends again, the Japanese pair they would have um, they would have chosen to um, Nine, to clear much eight. earlier in the rally and sort of just give away the initiative to the Koreans. Mm. That's nice, I like that.
goodness me. It's going wide, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good rally. <laughs> yeah, Korean fans happy with that. Oh, got in each other's way. That's landed in. Yeah. Thanks. We haven't had a challenge yet in this women's doubles. Seven over. gone long and it is the Japanese pair of Tanaka and Yonimoto who have the advantage at the mid-game interval here in the second game. Just one point advantage though. Yeah, well long. I guess totally according to their plan, the Japanese pair. That was that was the strategy when they chose to start on the far side. Kajima using all of his allotted time. Oh, that was going out, surely. And then makes a misjudgment on the back line. That defense going to the backhand side of Chang Yena. Yeah, well worked. But I, I think both the Koreans, they, they are obviously they're great players and they're great individual players i think there's parts of their strategy that is is quite obvious and that is that lisa so he she's using full power every time she has the chance and you think she needs to bury now it there's more. power yeah 
Now there's power. It's only if if she's uh, if she reaches the shuttle too low um, to hit a smash, then she plays a drop shot or perhaps a, a, a clear. Ah. But but every time she's got a chance for an upper uh, hand shot, it's a smash. Yeah. And it, it's much more. Um, Fourteen. Uh, as an opponent, you're much more calm if you know that she's going to smash on the first one because you just go back in your position and, and get ready. If there's a drop shot or a clear or even a cross smash, um, then, then you get, get a little bit in doubt. Missed it. Yeah. Well, this is actually six straight points for the Japanese pair. And, and the Koreans, they, they're outplaying themselves again. Uh, we, we saw it yesterday in, in uh, parts of the game against the Indonesians, against um, uh, Putrisari and, um, and Harris, where they, they sort of insist on, on um, playing their strategy. Oh, there's a challenge now. From the Koreans. Daniela challenges fall in. No, it wasn't called in. It no, it was called out. out. Koreans wouldn't challenge if it was called good. What does Hawkeye say? Clearly out. Well done, line judge. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. 16, 10. Drain. Not the best of serves from Yonimoto. Service over. 11, 16. Well played. N that's another thing I, I, I don't understand. I don't think we've seen a flick serve from any of the four players here 17, in, in this 11. winning doubles. And I mean, both sides have really, really solid defenses, but very often they don't get an advantage serving the short service. The receivers, they, they um, can make a big mistake like here, but it was another great chance for the, for the receivers to get the advantage in the rally. 18, Why not start with a good 11. flick serve, good quality flick serve? And, and uh, sort of play out of your defense. Timed it. Ten of the last twelve points to the Japanese pair. Service over. Nineteen twelve. Game point opportunities. 20, game point 12. Ah, uh, that's unbelievable. 
12 of the last 14 points. 9-10 down. Closing out the second game, 21-12. Well, one game all. One game all confirms the umpire. 43 minutes into the match. And it all seemed to go horribly wrong for the Koreans. Yes, I accept that the Japanese started to be more proactive. But now everything to play for. So, so that's uh, pretty good for them. Mm. But it's it's not so easy to put pressure on when you when you have the serve yourself. Mm. Perhaps a step more forward on the defense. Final a little game. bit flatter lifts. And See if you can get into the flat game and uh, get the Koreans to Level. use excessive power and put it long. Play. Oh, she missed it and it's gone wide. <laughs> it was a, like the miss created a little <laughs> bit of extra air pressure yeah. and took it out. <laughs> excellent, uh, yeah. excellent play. Landed in. Well, it's a good start to this deciding game by yeah. the Japanese Three. pair. A beautiful yeah. variation. Just uh, instead of continuing the flat game, just lifting it over Lee So Hee. mistakes from Lee so he here in the beginning of the third Four. game. Maybe that uh, hard work that she was made to do in the first game is starting to um, pay dividends. Oh, yeah, there was a flick serve or at least a, an attempt. First one of the match. I think so. I haven't noticed anyone else, but uh, when I see that Seven one, then I understand why they served that <laughs> many short <laughs> services. Oh. 
it's something that uh, I think some players forget to practice it. They practice the short serve, but the flick, yeah, anybody can serve a flick. Let's just get it down, down the field, so to speak. It's important that um, it has the correct height and speed and everything. Mm -hmm. I agree. Good shot, good shot. So what was the score? How much was it that they were losing the second part of the second game? Was it 12-2 and now 5-2? 17-4. Mm. That's amazing. Supporters are trying their utmost to get Jeremy Aynar and Lee So he upbeat again. Well, oh, the back level. three quick points for the Koreans. Well, the number of times we've seen players yes. complete mistime shots today is a real indication of the amount of drift. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a little, um, I don't <laughs> if I were a top player, I would be embarrassed to, to sort of just hit past the shuttle. Mm. We've seen in, in um, for those who might follow golf tournaments, if um, the golf course is too difficult. The players, they complain mm. because they look like uh, amateurs. Yeah. Because the, the, the course is set up Seven too over, difficult. Six, yeah. Five. Some of the mistakes we've seen here, we've seen Shrikant hit three or four times in the middle of the net mm. on, on what you'd normally call sitters. So are you suggesting that in conditions like Seven this, and it happened at a tournament in Malaysia oh. last year where the playing conditions were very, very difficult because yeah. of the, the air conditioning and so on, you think the players should actually say, look, go to the tournament referee yeah. and say, we, we need to turn down some of this air conditioning? Yeah, and, and, and have some rules for it. Here, the air conditioning is not shielded in, in any way. It's just mm. blowing directly towards the players in the court. Um, it's also about whether a venue is, is suitable for, for big tournaments. We, we, we can't avoid the drift. We can't Seven. avoid the drift because we're playing Six. with air condition and, and we can't avoid the drift even in an arena like the Old England where there's no, um, no air condition. It, there will be air currents in, in big stadiums, no doubt about that. It's just extreme um, <coughs> at certain stadiums. Wow! Your turn is pushed long. Eight, and now the six. momentum shifts back to the Koreans. Yeah, six of the last seven. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
has gone wide. Five, six. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what, what ha what's happened because I, if you, it's mostly uh, errors from from the Japanese pair. They they put them out in both sides. They put them long. initiative from Jan Yen Ah. Ten. Steps Eight. forward, takes the chance. Extraordinary, isn't it? Nine of the last ten points. From two five down. Change ends now the Koreans with a five point advantage, eleven six lead in the deciding game. Well, given the conditions, this is far from over. Maybe a five-point advantage, but we can see, we have seen from the previous two games and the first half of this deciding game that things can change in an instance. not enough pressure on that attacking shot in fact it was it an attacking shot from Lee so he no she, she's attacking uh, she's trying to attack out of position and and this match here I feel that, that Lee so he she's um, it's possible to put pressure on her because she's doing the same things over and over and over again I haven't seen her stop with it, but she's always applying power here. Yeah. And that, that is, in my opinion, exploitable. I don't know what happened Seven to the forward. Japanese when they were leading 5-2, but, but they've made a, a number of errors since then. Um, she's powerful, Lisa, he, no, no doubt about that. And, and, and Chang is also dangerous um, on the front court. But, I mean, if you know what is happening, and feel the Japanese pair, they could easily uh, play drop shots to, to Lee So he because if they drop to her, she's gonna lift it. It's Chang Yuna who plays these creative shots. So if I were the Japanese, I would target a lot more on the shots at Lee So he because yeah. I can tell much more, uh, Eight, with much higher 13. certainty what, what she's gonna do. Yeah, she's too predictable. Yes. Service fault called. First fault called of the match. And called on Tanaka. 
Struck above the waist is the European token. Oh, that was going well wide. Yeah. But that's exactly the point. I mean, when, when you saw he is serving, just play that back at the net, play it short. Nine, She's going to lift. Four, you have the initiative. Yeah. It's a couple Four of in. gifts, isn't it, from the <laughs> Koreans? Good serve. That's well left. Another flick serve. And another flick serve that doesn't gain any that advantage. Not an advantage at all. Way too poor 11. quality. I think it was short. It was definitely too flat. Uh, she didn't have time to get back in position, uh, Tanaka. So, uh, no, um, I mean, no harm in, in giving it some height. But perhaps a little bit afraid of putting it long yeah. given the drift wide, wide. Oh, oh it was going wide and Yonimoto decided to play it oh she twisted her ankle that's what happened look oh dear I didn't like that didn't like that at all I think actually that she fell over might have saved her. Saved the ankle. Yeah. Mmm, dear. Yeah, it was Yonemoto that went down. It was Tanaka that actually played the shuttle. Crikey, I hope she's all right. 18, 11. Yeah, seems to be. Taken by Chang Ye Na. My goodness, she had to be careful 19, that she didn't cross 11. over the net. 
very well taken. Well, there we had the twisted ankle again. Or what? Or did she do it one more time? opportunities for Zhang Yena and Lee Sohee. asking and from that 2-5 deficit in this deciding game Zhang Ye Na and Lee So He just turned the whole match around an hour and four minutes for their victory in three games 21-14-12-21-21-11 in the deciding game this is the final rally. And, and a defensive shot from Tanaka going well wide of the court. 11. But for the number eight seeds from Japan, it was a first ever Premier Super Series semi final. But the All England champions. Zhang Yena and Lee so he safely through to a second Super Series tournament final this year. 21-14, 12-21, 21-11 in the deciding game. three semi-finals so far going the full distance going to three games 
Next up has home interest with the first ever Super Series semi-final for Alfian and Ardianto. And they're up against the current world number ones, uh, Bo and Morganson. And then our last semi-final of this evening is the second of the women's singles. And Zhang Bei Wen, a beaten finalist at the French Super Series last year, up against Sung Ji Hyun of Korea. Well, as far as the men's doubles Super Series standings are concerned at the moment, the top ten, there's two Indonesian pairs, two Chinese pairs, and two Danish pairs. But the big Please movers, of course, enjoy. after their victory in Singapore were Bo and Mogensen, shot up 20 places to number eight. And despite reaching the final, Li Junhui and Liu Yuchen remained at number two because, of course, Gideon and Sukamolio won the first three Super Series tournaments of the year. Well, as far as the draw is concerned, here at the Indonesian Open in the men's doubles uh, quarterfinal stage, we had seven different nations involved, but only three seeds. By semi-finals, so we're down to two seeds and three different nations. Top half of the draw, as you can see, is an all-Chinese affair, but we're going to concentrate on the bottom half of the draw with Alfian and Ardianto against Bo and Morganson. 